In the SLS AMG, coolant is pumped under pressure through the circuit. After certain repairs in the cooling system, the coolant must be renewed. First, switch off the ignition. Be careful when opening the reservoir, because if the coolant is hot, the reservoir can be pressurized. If the engine compartment has a carbon cover, then remove it now. Take out the radiator bracket. To do this, remove all four plastic rivets. and two screws on each side. When reinstalling, make sure to use the correct torque. Remove the bracket. Raise the SLS to remove the engine cover underneath. Connect a hose to the cooler drain fittings. Raise the cooler and open the valve. And the coolant runs out. Wait until all the liquid has drained. But that's not all. Coolant is also released from the coolant pump. To do this, open the hose. Push the connection clip aside of the hose coupling. Make sure that a container is underneath the hose. Now pull the hose coupling from the fixture and again let the coolant drain. Let the liquid drain completely. Reconnect the hose and fasten the lower engine compartment cover again. Back on the ground, fill with new coolant. To do this, you need a vacuum filler unit. This machine sucks the air from the cooling system and fills it automatically. You order the tester cap separately, because different models have different sizes. Next, remount the radiator bracket. And screw the tester cap onto the opening of the reservoir. Connect the filler unit according to the instructions. Open the front valve. Now the filler unit creates a vacuum. You can see this in the manometer. With negative pressure, close the pressure control valve and open the second valve. Now the coolant is automatically filled until the circuit is completely full. 14 liters fit into the coolant system. That was it for the filling. Now check whether the coolant circuit is free of leaks. To do this, generate overpressure using the pump. When the engine is cold, let the pump run for about 5 minutes. With a warm engine, no longer than 2 minutes. Then read the manometer. If the pressure has gone down, then the circuit is losing fluid. In this example, the pressure is steady and the circuit is therefore free of leaks. The supercar is once again ready for its next trip without an overheating engine.